God yeah, dang it. Uh, I'm bored again. Uh, I guess I could always go for a shiny hunt. Uh, let's see, what can be something completely derpy that I can do with outside of a stream since I don't really have a Wi-Fi connection right now? I've pretty much gotten a lot of things that I want, but... You know what? Let's go see what the hell's up on YouTube. Maybe it'll just kick back and see. Hmm, filth sounds interesting here. Um, now look, uh, Noble's after another Try Not to Laugh challenge. A drive. Ooh, we pulled something cool. Wait, what's this? Dodrio sweep. Is that even? <laughs> My God! Must see, must see. This might be what I'm going for. Dun 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 dun. dun. What number is this Pokemon? I don't know. Oh, that's what? What? It's so pretty. It's so derpy. It's deliciously. Evil. All right, now let's see what we got here. Let's see where, if we can get this in like hard gold and soul silver, because I'm quite sure you can't catch a Doduo in Pokemon Sun and Moon. But here we are. And looks like you can. And Route 22. Where is Route 22? Oh, it's the Kanto route. It's the one. Durr. I've assembled my team. I got my synchronized Jolly Ralts. And pretty much all the other normal guys that I get for these breeding quests for Heart Golden. Well, basically just Heart Gold because I don't have Soul Silver. You know, just, uh, yeah, full swiping, Scizor, and everything. So let's get the Ralts out. Probably gonna have to have it knocked out right off the bat, but this is the story of life. And mm, looks like I gotta fly on over there. Oh, I thought I was in Johto. Well, the route's right here, so let's fly right over to Pewter City. Saving, saving, do the saving, saving, all data. Saving, okay, there we go. Alright, so let's go through here. Let's get Ralts knocked out. I'm wondering if I'm just gonna time lapse through this. I don't know. Probably not. Let's see how long it takes to kill Ralts. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm just I'm just gonna go into Slowpoke Vision here until we can actually get into the Doduo fight. Oh, look, there he is. Um, okay. So now I got a freaking small swipe and then chuck a ball at him. And I think I'm just gonna throw him in a friend ball because looking at that shiny form, friend ball looks pretty cool. It's green, it makes green sparklies. They'll get along real good. And I have like nine of them here, so unlike Sun and Moon, I don't have to worry about, you know, getting another one, playing through an entire another like, playthrough just to get one. So, um, there. That, that didn't work, but I have nine of them to chuck, and it's all good. It's all good. Now get in the ball. Get in the ball, Doduo. Get in the ball. Yeah, I think. Yeah, there we go. He got in the ball. Good, Doduo. All right, now I gotta actually transfer a full six Pokemon here, so um. Well, first we gotta get Doduo in here, and I guess I'll just take some random Pokemon. You know what? No, Furret. Because Furret all day, every day, and Linoons. Because Pickup. Yeah, and, uh, Metapod. There's nothing special about these guys. Now we play the catching game that I really hate. Let's see, can I get you? Can I get you? I'm gonna get you, Lion. Ah! Stop moving! 
Stop moving. Why do I have to play mini games to transfers? This is kind of stupid. Don't have to just let us transfer. Nintendo, why do you always gotta do stuff? Well, got the Dodo. Duo. Nothing else matters. All these guys are trash. Flying, well, I met like a Metapod. Could be, I want I should have left Metapod for the very end because that would have been funny just watching a Metapod fly across the screen really fast. Fastest Metapod you've ever seen. Yeah, dang it. Now there's only Furret. There is only Furret. Ever Furret. For days. Furret for days, guys. And we're done. Now we're gonna move over here and save it. And next we're gonna see Pokemon Transporter as I transport the Pokemon over. Just gonna confirm the save. So that we make sure that I transferred everything. And be all Q. But, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys here in a few seconds. Transfer over to D.Va. Communication. This is the, one of the slow, boring parts of the overview video. The transporting, the loading, the loading screens. Why can't they give us something funny in the loading screens? I mean, let, let's take like Fallout 4 for example. They have a bunch of the uh, loading screen stuff all over the place where it gives you a nice little tool tip or something somewhere. Like, throw a tool tip out here. Something that'll just like tell us stuff now. Uh, transporter, get the Do Duo. Put in my Japanese. Well, like, technically it's an English game, but I played it in Japanese. And yeah, all the ferrets and whatnot. Ferret, ferret. They have nothing, nothing cool. Friend Bull, you're my only friend. And. over here. Yeah, right. So, Friend Bull's there. You can. Uh, yeah, there we go. I just moved up to Motor Mark so you can see. But there we go, Friend Bull. And. Uh, I don't know where to put these guys. I don't want to put them in my box. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna throw them here in Poke Bank and let them rot. Burn in hell. For now. Someday. Someday. I'll get you back. Maybe. If I'm feeling generous. Alright, so. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's take a look at some showdown stuff real quick, because. Just want to plan this out ahead of time. Uh, Do Trio. Now, if I recall, um, sleeps ends early. You know, what? early bird might be handy in case someone like gets spore crazy. Uh, I'm quite sure that this thing was actually supposed to be jolly nature. So let's look at what these stats look like. Hmm. Well, uh, at least I'm gonna have a boosted attack there from uh, Mirror Move. Let's get level 50 stats because that's what I'm used to. And oh, wait, hold on, let's fix this IV. Well, I don't know why Showdown does this all the time. But for some reason, the zero, it keeps on putting zero attack, so it's not a bad one. And it's gonna be Flying MZ because we're gonna Z Mirror Move as for what the video had. I believe the attacks were Brave Bird, uh, Mirror Move, Return, and Jump Kick. So let's put those in. Where's Jump Kick? There we are. So that's what we're going to be looking at here for level 50 stats. If you want to go back and see the level 100, I guess I can tweak it back to level 100 for you guys to see. But it's pretty much the strategy. That's the Pokemon I'm trying to build, Shiny. I'm going to go for Shiny. But if I can't, that's I don't know. I'm going to go for shiny. But this is what it's going to be. Hey guys, this is being added in on, in post. But uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, point out here and how I get Brave Bird and Mirror Move on to my Do Duo here that I'm starting to breed up and whatnot. Because I seem to have misplaced uh, where the videos ended up going from my cell phone capture and whatnot. But, in long story short, I used a Decidueye here named Fail Furby for uh, Brave Bird, and I used this Pidgey over here for Mirror Move. I'll throw the descriptions of the 
Japanese things up here now so you guys can actually see which one's which here and then Pidgey the only flying move there is mirror move so I thought I'd add this in just so you're not completely lost and why is he just doing Doduo and bringing Doduo's up now because I missed the entire everything in that breeding step but I assure you that I just sat there and bred for five IVs I got these attacks on, bred, got the nature, bred for five IVs. I mean, I still have the original Doe Duo over here. There he is, Mr. Friendball, so... Yeah, I, I just wanted to clarify some things here. Alright, so I found some of my footage, but it's not exactly all the way through, and the audio is so bad that I'm just gonna have to dub over everything, because my cell phone kinda sucks, and I wanted to do this, uh... Basically showing you that it's on a, it's a cell phone capture rather than my capture card because for one I have another DS that I like to do for when I do the uh, whole Poco Pelago skip thing because I like the original DS to do so it's it's pretty handy and uh, I also wanted to throw this out here because just so people can see that I'm not I'm not basically tampering or editing through a bunch of bull, bull crap sparts here. I'm literally just going through and it's a little harder to actually prove that I'm editing through things when I'm running around with a cell phone that is uh, pretty much going in and out of focus all the damn time. And yeah, so these are just me popping out some Doe Duos and I believe I was like on 50 or something at this point. This is why I can't justify my cell phone all the time because for one it's visual suck and for two the audio always goes as crap. But I finally got the shiny guys and I was trying to figure out which one it was here and I found out it was at 197. So 197 actually is not that long to get to when egg hatching. I basically what I did was I gathered a bunch of eggs and uh, I grabbed a, threw a box of eggs at one time. We used the Poco Bell go skip to skip through it and then hatch through everything and they take about two skips to actually get through and I guess I'll have to describe how you do the Pelago skip for you guys but look here, 4 IV 4 IV and if you didn't see it before it had the uh, mirror move and brave bird so alright guys, here's gonna be a uh, short little guide on how to do a Pelago skip for one, let's just get something set up here, because it's very easy to do. A lot of people have had trouble with it, because I guess they just weren't completely clarified. Um, there'll be a link down in the description for Velocify's video for it, if you want to get a little bit more of what he had to say. But let's just, like, use the training grounds here. Let's do a quick little training thing, and I'm just going to show, like, an EXP boost to some of these things, because... I got still got several of these uh, do, do duos that I have that are all six IVs. And the very tail end here, my thing. So give me a second there. Yeah, these are. I mean, six. These are five IVs or higher, really. The argument could be made for six in some of these, but yeah, they're 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 pretty pretty fat. So I'm just gonna you know grab a chunk of them. Whoop. Throw them in. And this isn't just for like the training session and everything. See, that's the, the XP is the first thing, so just throw them in for there, and they'll be like around level 30 when you get out. Send these guys to go do whatever. Just go get some shards, and there they go. Go off for the shards. Yeah, plant some berries. Let's just throw some chesto berries out here. Got some chestos. This hardly even matters, so if you had eggs, they'd hatch and everything. So you got your thing all set and everything. I really don't like to use this on my uh, capture card DS, and the only reason why is because then when I try to use either of my games and everything, um, it locks me out of time-based events, like in-game things, like... Uh, the, the getting rare, the random rare candies that respawn. So, but basically, what you got to do is you got to save your game, and then you hit the home screen. Go back to your home screen. You go to settings. Come on, let's go to settings. 
I do this on my other DS because it's so much. Uh, it's not that simpler. I just like to do it on that one. That way, I can only have one. I have both Sun and Moon in the Sun. Uh, the Japanese version is a lot easier for me to get shinies on because I just throw my English converted um, Pokemon over there. And yeah, so what you need to do is you need to set it the date to a day that in a month that ends in 31. So uh, I like to use the. Uh, March in 31 because I find it ironic because all my Pokemon will be dated like they're they're hatched on uh, on April Fools. So you set that time and then you go to you go what like one minute before. Now I emphasize on the one minute. If you think don't think you can do this fast enough, go for two minutes because you literally only have like a six second window to get. It, it only gives you six seconds to actually get to your to your character on time. You have to be in your game and controlling your character with it when it turns to the new date. Otherwise, the time skip doesn't actually work out so well. So th that's where a lot of people I've noticed might have be having problems. So just try to go two minutes before, so it gives yourself some extra time. So I'm I'm just gonna show you here. So the time has been set. Now I have like I have like a full minute to get there. And if you actually look at the timer here, I'll probably throw a timer up here in the corner. It, this entire process takes like, uh, if I think like 53 seconds to get through, to get back onto your character in your game. So, but as I was saying, I don't like to do this on this particular DS because I like to keep it, at least one of my games will get the time-based events, like uh, my Fo Festival Plaza and my uh, Moon version where I have a chance to get like bottle caps and whatnot, because almost everything in there is one of the gambling like, I mean, the lottery thing, so I get, I get locked out of those, so uh, that's going to keep everything on my other DS. But the other DS does not have a capture card, which is why I'm forced to do cell phone capture a lot. So I lose out on, like, reactions and whatnot. So here we go. And this is where we end the timer. And I like to do hit a save before just to see. Up oh, there, hey, yeah, I passed the time passed into that and then we check out the Pokepelago flying on Charizard and dun da 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 behold they're all level 30 no edit no crazy things is all done in like one jump just, just throw these over and Look at all the other things, and you'll see that everything else goes through. And it, it still works. They have not patched it through or anything. I probably got garbage for stuff. Huh, not too bad. And the things hatched. You'd have more berries and the Pokemon and everything. So yeah, the Pokepelago skip, the skip is very handy and very nice. It's just, I like to keep one game, de one DS dedicated to it, because I have five other DS's. Technically six, but I gave one away to my brother for his birthday, so. And he hardly ever uses it. But th that's just a quick little guide on a Pokepelago skip for you. Uh, a good chunk of what's going to happen here from here on out is going to be for my cell phone capture. Basically, I'm showing you guys here now that I've gotten my AV trained it all the way now. It's been like three skips later. And now I'm going to level up this shiny by throwing it in for experience. And uh, it's blurry as hell, but my camera doesn't, my phone camera does not like to focus well on this thing, which is why you don't usually see them doing it with cell phone cameras. Usually it's with webcams. So this is the skip later, and now you see how he's like level 30 now. So I'm gonna pull him out, and then I was gonna. I decided to go and just level him up, just turn him into a Dodrio. I know he doesn't lose his egg moves from that, so yay. Dun da da da, Dodo. <laughs> I find it funny on Japanese, the name is just Dodo. No Doduo, it's just Dodo. Dodo's evolving. And I would gotta say, I really like green Pokemon that are shiny. I know a lot of people hate them, but this one is really intriguing because it's got that green, that black, and then the pink tail feathers just top it off. I don't know why I like this shiny so much. It's so derpy. I've I've liked Doduo for its derpiness, or Dodrio, I should say. Um, 
I've always liked just that, and my favorite color is green, so seeing a lot of these green Pokemon. My still top favorite is still Dragonite, though. And, uh, oh, I accidentally clicked on this Growlithe here. But what I'm trying to show you at this point is, uh, from the Pokepelago, another thing that I was doing while I was getting this up. Because I'm right now I'm trying to skip this by Dodrio all the way up to level 100. And I've been using use the anything, get anything from the thing a lot. And that actually kind of helps with the stone, get me my stones and whatnot. Maybe have a ghoul bottle cap. But after a while I just kind of kept on throwing in to get in shards. Because I only needed one bottle cap. And I figured, well, since I'm skipping all this time anyway... Uh, granted, I am losing out on a chance of getting a gold bottle cap, but a gold bottle cap would be wasted at this point. And this was not at a point where I gotten all the uh, shards yet. Just wanted to show you guys my earnings of shards, so you don't just be all like, "Oh, you just hacked a bottle." I don't, I don't hack. I don't hack. Period. I don't even have the tools to hack, nor would I want to. Which is the entire points of these videos. That's why I'm stressing out and using a cell phone camera, of all things, to help record things. Now this is, see, he's level 56 now. This is several hours of, into the thing. Um, I know doing, like, from the entire thing from start to finish literally took me, like, 19 hours of hard work. Between catching and recording, but I wasn't just doing it all the time. I, I, did, I did take stops to, like, go get foods and stuff. I'm not a, like, frickin' robot. Jeez. Uh, at this point, I decided to come back here, because at level 56, the special part about that is that Dodrio no longer learns any new moves. So I was just going back to go teach it uh, Mirror Move and Brave Bird, and the level up moves, since they, it's going to be using that. As you can see, that's Brave Bird, 120 attack, 100%, and get rid of Thrash. Don't know. No. Yeah. That's not it. Eh. Okay, there. I learned it. Wasn't paying attention. Meh. Yeah. Alright, old lady. Gotta do it again. Gotta get that mirror move, which is the entire key to the strategy. Which, I actually love this idea for the strategy. I, I've really been wondering a way to make Dodrio, because out of the first generation, I always was laughed at for... In the card game, I like to use Dodrio as a filler card. And everyone's like, why do you like Dodrio? I'm like, well, I, it wasn't really funny. I just like derpy Pokemon. I mean, Dragonite, Slowpoke, Slowbro, first generation, derpy. And I w actually just did a recent replay of my Leaf Green, and I found that uh, Dodrio was just a lifesaver in that. I'm like, oh my god, Dodrio. I love you now. It, it, it's just like, what the hell? I, I, a Pokemon I never really used before. It was so derpy. And here we go. I think this is where I got like the last bits of shards that I needed. So let's check out the, what I have here for shards. <laughs> it almost looked like that uh, Comfy was on the Magic Carp for a second there. Yeah, send you guys off. Give you guys. Uh, oh, another thing to add in for the Pokepelago. You might want to throw in at least 50 beans if you want anything good to come out for your treasure hunting. I think you need 36 in there for. Uh, better odds, and I don't know if that's for all types of beans, I think that's, I'm not entirely sure. I did notice a difference, like, between if I added in rainbow and, like, regular painted beans to other things. And scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down, and where's my shards? There's shards. That's one away. See, there we go, we got green shards. So we can... We got one bottle cap, guys. One bottle cap. Uh, so let's go get that bottle cap now. Though I wanted to point out also, if you saw that I had like the Scythers and the Pukimuku, I was looking for other shinies while I was going around trying to get uh, it, it, just in case, because I've never gotten the Pokepelago shiny thing. I know it's a shiny hunting method. I just haven't tried it myself, nor have I really tried period for it. A lot of the Pokemon that are in there. I mean, Pyukamuka would be funny and nice to have, but it's not the almighty. Plus, I think I want to wear Pyukamuku. So, I'm gonna I can see I just traded for it. I'm trying to get out. It's hard to actually... I was looking through a cell phone at the DS, so... Excuse my random stumbling. Okay, time to put the bottle cap on Dodrio. And, uh... 
Scroll all the way to the bottom because it's the newest item. There we are. One bottle cap. It's just a silver bottle cap because that's what shards get you. Eh, no, nope. pick it up, pick it up, drag and drop. Then we're good to go, guys. Good to go. Time to see the almighty Dodrio. Like level 100 after. I remember this was like 3 in the morning trying to get this over. And this is like a few days ago now. As you could probably have told from my Facebook post or my uh, Twitter post, so. Here we go, gonna back on out. One last thing that I need to do before transferring it over to my English game. Because I always restart the... The Japanese game is not a final rendition, like, and just a final thing for my game. I buy both games so I can restart one and farm for things for the other. In this case, it was like Pokemon for the Pokedex, now I have a Living Dex, which is kind of cool. And, uh, like the one per game items, like the balls here. Now, what I'm going to name this guy is totally a Roadrunner. Uh, I'm going to make it fancy first, though. But the idea is I name him Meep. Yes, Meep. You know, Meep Meep. Uh, at least I think that's what the Roadrunner sound was uh, in my mind. And if it is, well, I don't want to be right. So this this entire video is basically the legend of Meep. The, from, like, heritage all the way up. And finally, Meep will be transferred over to my main game. <sighs> and then there's only a few more steps that I need to do on my main game, like go get the... Use that bottle cap and get it hyper trained just to get it all the way up. Although it could be argued that I could keep it down. I mean, it's not exactly the most durable of Pokemon. So I'm missing, I think, like 15 stats or so. Oh man, that, that friend ball is just so freaking pretty. So pretty. Fits it so well. Welcome aboard, Meep. Diva sent over Meep. Take good care of Meep. Oh, I'll take very good care of Meep. That's just so fun to say, Meep. Alright, let's get out of the trade so I can go over and do some hyper training stuff. Pull the bottle cap off of it and just basically get the hell out of Dodge. See bottle caps over here, guys? And pulling it off from here, move, drill pick, brave bird. And I believe it's 176, I believe, is the total defense stat. So 161. So, yeah, about missing about 15 defense. Do I really want to? Yeah, I, I might as well. I mean, that's the entire point of this video. Making a perfect shiny, I guess. It should be the highlight of this breeding quest. And it's already, this video is already pretty lengthy as it is. I think I'm going to be probably running past 30 minutes, but all of my breed quest videos are pretty long, so... Hope you're all enjoying this, if you're still here. Awesome for those who are. For those who are, actually, find my Twitter and, and just go hashtag meep. Hashtag meep at falcondo0011. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll know people are watching. I'm looking at you, awesome puffin. And Creeper Boss. Creeper Boss likes to watch my videos as well. So Creeper Boss, shoutouts to you. What's up? Anyway, let's fly on over and get hyper trained. Boss, boss! I got the bottle caps, man. I got your caps. Do you got my defense stat? Defense stat, yo? Stap. Stat. <laughs> stat. Oh, I'm tired. If you couldn't tell. So, putting this in. And. Let's take a look at it. What I tell you, that defense set, it's 176. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. All hail Meep, the legendary. Now, a few things that we gotta do here is uh, I gotta get its happiness up, so or friendliness, so I can use return. So, just gonna pump it full of Hundu berries. Hundu that took a, quite a bit longer than I expected, but here we go. Uh, now, just gotta give it return. Return for maximum damage. Come on, return. 
And there we go. And jump kick return over drill pick, yeah. So now that that's gone, we got the cues. We got all the cues. It, it, it just gotta give it flame Z, and it's it's pretty much good to go. There we go. Some nice fly MZ. There we have it. The legendary Meep. Now to put him with the rest of everything. All the other shinies. Ah, uh, the shinies. Some of, most, some of them I don't even have videos for. Because I ended up getting them on my cell phone. And the, I either accidentally deleted them. Or misplaced a bunch of things and then accidentally deleted the folder, which kind of sucks. I know there's two other things that I had to do videos for, and that's uh, Kana and Ego-sama. Kana is basically a Gudra that I hatched, and I kind of actually was a little surprised in getting that so quickly. And then Ego-sama is a uh, Vaporeon that I was hatched. Well, I didn't go for Vaporeon when I was trying to hatch. I just hatched as a shiny Eevee, didn't have the hidden ability, so I'm like Vaporeon. But if you guys like this video and want to see more of the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Or not. It's up to you if I did good or not. But, uh, there's a little bonus I'm going to give you guys some footage for. But you guys stay awesome. You have a good one. And, yeah, later. This is madness! Madness. This is Hey, Spartan! This is Spartan! This is Spartan!